Scientists have found many ways to turn your dog from a sad pup to a cheerful one. How you pet them, greet them, or even look at them can all affect your pet's mood in an excellent way. We will discuss all these, but first, did you know that the special dog voice attracts dogs? A study from the University of York showed dogs are more attracted to the high-pitched voice we tend to use, rather than a normal human tone. Interestingly, this comes from how mother dogs interact with their pups, since the mom used higher-pitched sounds when communicating. It created a sense of comfort and safety. But the next way to make your dog happy is actually simpler than it seems. All you have to do is say hi and bye to your dog. A study compared dog owners who never said hi or bye to those that do. The results showed that dogs who received a proper hi and goodbye had lower stress levels when left alone. Meanwhile, the other dogs felt worried and anxious. If you want your dog to be as comfortable as possible, make sure to do this consistently. However, one little action you can do every day will make your dog so much happier. All you have to do is kiss them. Yep, one study from Arizona University found that kissing a dog increases oxytocin, which is their love hormone and in turn makes them happier. However, keep in mind that kissing your dog can also transmit diseases and harmful bacteria. So maybe be careful and make sure they are cleaned before doing this. But one thing you can do to cheer up your pet anytime is gazing at your dog's eyes. In a study, researchers collected urine samples from both dogs and owners before and after interacting. The oxytocin levels of both dogs and humans increased a lot after they gazed at each other, showing that dogs built a closer bond when they looked at each other's eyes. You can do this with your dog to cheer him up. Speaking about cheering up your dog, one thing you should always do when you get the chance is to pet them. This may seem really simple, but researchers from Switzerland saw that it's actually more effective than it seems. They found that petting your dog increases your dog's prefrontal brain activity and in turn increases oxytocin. It also gives your dog attention and arousal, which they always like. So, if you were already petting them, now you know that it makes your dog happier than you once thought. But speaking about petting your dog, it is also key that you pet them before leaving them. This is because dogs typically suffer from separation anxiety. So to help them out, we should pet them before leaving. This gives them a sense of peace, and this can also help them trust that you will be back for them. The next fact is crucial for your dog to be always happy. But before that, make sure to subscribe for more content from dog lovers to dog lovers. Always without wasting any time, the next way to keep your dog happy is to take them outside and let them explore. Dogs are active animals. They are not meant to be kept inside homes. This is why you should always let them go outdoors. This is great as they can explore new things, give them both a mental and physical workout, and helping your pup stay happy. But don't take my word for it. The AKC even advises taking your dog outside for many hours per week. But one thing you should never do is punish your dog. I can't stress this enough. Don't do this. Let me explain why. A study from Portugal showed that dogs who were trained with adverse methods, aka punishing them, actually were more stressed and pessimistic compared to dogs who were trained with a reward-based method. Therefore, if your dog does something wrong, like chewing on your shoe, don't punish them. Instead, 
teach them, and then reward them when they don't do it again. Fortunately, this next myth is very simple and straightforward. You just have to spend more time with your dog. Just like how you like to spend quality time with your family, dogs also appreciate this too. The more time you two spend together, the more you develop a bond and trust. Having toys also come in handy to help you have some fun while also getting some physical exercise. I have a couple toys I use with my own dog, which I will link in the description so you can check them out. But one of the best ways to make your dog happy is to bathe them often. This not only keeps your dog healthy from bacteria or infections, but it also makes your dog more comfortable. Giving your pup a good shower removes dead hair, sweat, and any fleas and ticks, keeping your dog happy and safe. But how often should you give them a shower? According to the ASPCA, it is generally recommended for your dog to bathe once every three months. However, if you have the time, it doesn't hurt to do it once a month. Moving on, let me ask you a question. Do you greet your dog when you come home? If the answer is yes, then good job because this makes your dog very happy. This is because whenever you come home and immediately start talking to them, petting them, and even giving them a treat, it makes them more comfortable to be home alone next time. Make sure to give them some good belly rubs too, as this is extra satisfying for pups. And last but not least, a bit of a controversial method is to let your dog sleep with you. Some people think that dogs sleeping in their beds is disgusting and uncalled for, while others think it's not a problem at all. But what do scientists say about this? Well, it's generally positive. Sleeping with your pup can lead to more comfort and security, better emotional health, and a higher immunity to diseases. However, there are some negatives too, like allergies and exposure to germs, which can all harm you and your pet. In this case, you know your dog better than anyone, and it is up to you to know if it's right or wrong for your dog to sleep with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the links in the description for my dog toy recommendations and check out this video about the dog myths you need to stop believing in. See you there!